Hey everyone, Tim with Collector Asset here with one of the coolest unboxings I think I've ever done on the channel. This is the new Mattel 93 Classic. You can see it over here on the box past Rexy's face here. 93 cra Classic Electronic Real Field Tyrannosaurus Rex, part of their Jurassic Park 30th anniversary line. And this thing just looks, it looks heavenly. I mean, look at this box, all of this uh, retro callbacks with the graphics with the um jungle silhouette back there the classic jurassic park yellow logo oh my gosh i am just so so excited to open this thing up and i do apologize i am a little bit under the weather so i might sound a little more nasally than maybe usual um but uh I, i'm just so excited to open this i couldn't wait um to, to be healthy to open it i had to get it out um and add it to my collection and of course showcase it for all of you out there so we'll definitely be getting the real feel rexy out um, today, of course, taking a look at the box, taking a look at the figure, taking a look at all the features of the figure, and there are a lot of features here. You got the real feel skin, you have electronic roars, you have a swallowing action. The list goes on and on. We'll also be doing some comparisons to some of the other Rexes, including, you know, the Kenner Red Rex. We got to do a comparison with that one, as well as some of the newer Mattel Rexes, like the Hammond Collection Rex and a few other ones. So all that is in stores. This is going to be an, an epic unboxing like there has never been. Again, I'm just so excited for these, uh, all these 93 classic figures, but the T-Rex might be close to the top of my list for what I'm looking forward to the most. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in depth and get it out of this beautiful, beautiful package. I already mentioned, you know, how we have that cool jungle sunset back there on the box. You can kind of see it peeking behind the T-Rex the itself. We have that 93 classic logo. That's kind of the Mattel line. You know, we got Legacy Collection. We got... Um, um, epic damage we have the core line and then we have 93 classic which um you know is just i mean it's the coolest thing ever that mattel's doing um kind of taking that throwback with kenner and applying it to some of their newer toys it's just perfect um straight from the 90s just like this packaging i love that yellow logo even the typography they used um with the electronic real feel and yellow italics and then the uh, tyrannosaurus rex and jungle fever font that's straight from you know, the classic, um, the classic Kinder packaging. So I also like this little logo right here, the JP30 logo. You don't see that one very often too. So that's pretty cool. Um, on the sides, we have more Jurassic Park uh, branding. No surprise there. On the back, we have this really nice um, kind of faux diorama, somewhat similar to what they used to do um, where they take a figure and kind of like photograph it in, in a little mini environment. It actually is kind of a Photoshop job of just the the um, like official promo shot of the Rex in the jungle, but it gets the job done. You also have um, all this, uh, you know, um, labeling that's all foreign language, which at this point I should mention, I got this T-Rex from overseas, um, from Smith's Toys, courtesy of my good, good friend, Tom, aka Tom Jurassic, um, helped me grab this, and I am forever grateful for, for him for me for doing that, because I'm just, I had to get my hands on this, but that's why that's probably, there's so much international language on here, because this one was acquired from the UK, the Target release is happening at some point, they haven't given us a release date, but um, maybe that version will have less language languages on it. I'm not really sure. Um, but you got the real feel call out, real feel, um, all the different um, actions, the the roar, uh, the chomp, the, re the reveal. So you kind of have everything there um, that the T-Rex can do. And then you also have um, mention of the scan app, uh, the DNA, what is it? DNA facts, uh, Jurassic facts app, the DNA tags. Then you also have the rest of the assortment down here for 93 Classic, the uh, the track the track vehicle, um, Malcolm Welcome uh, Grant with their dinosaurs, and they have these in little vignettes, just like the old Kinder toys. Just super, super fun. Um, I love it, and I also like the little JP Mark again down here. So um, that kind of sums up the back of the box. It's beautiful. The box itself, all all around, is a beautiful box, which again makes me like really not want to take this thing out. But when these things come out in Target, I might indulge myself and grab another one. But let's go ahead and pop this one out. I think it probably has foot pegs too, which um, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those very first thing, just because um, uh, they're a little bit easier to uh, pop out of the cords once their feet are loose. So we'll go ahead and get that perforated piece in here started and not cut my finger. I've cut my finger on cardboard before. 
mid unboxing and it's never fun as I literally cut my pinky open um, on the back edge there. Uh, all right, we'll just pop these out. We're hoping that's enough to pop. We got this one out for sure. I don't know about this one, we'll see. Um, and then we're going to cut, looks like there's literally just two, two um, kind of like uh, paper cords holding Rexy in maybe, that could be it. Uh, looks like we still have this foot to unlock. Can we get it out without messing up the box anymore? That's That was kind of my goal was to not mess up the box too much because I like the box and I wanna keep the box. Come on, Rexy, you can do it. Oh my gosh, that took way longer than it was supposed to, but um, I did pop Rex out <laughs> finally um, without mangling that package. I just gotta pop his his feet back in. Um, and I think I, I think I salvaged the package more or less. I can I can keep that. Um, we'll keep it in the background here for now, I guess, if we can fit it fit it down there without it popping up. Um, so there she is. Let's go ahead and pull these tabs on it. I, like I said, I'd love to keep this in the back here for us to, to take in, kind of add to the ambiance of this classic Rex, right? So there it is, the real field T-Rex out of the package, um, the 360 here. Here's the other side of, of her, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, you know, that, that classic red colors from the Kenner Rex. Um, I think that's probably the first thing we should get on screen here. Um, and then we'll walk through the features of the Rex. But just so we have a little bit of context of kind of where this toy is even coming from, we have the Kenner Rex, still with the working electronics, mind you. This thing is from 1993. Um, I've never changed the batteries. They just literally lasted uh, 30 years all on their own. And this is what this new Mattel toy is based off of. It's literally based off of this classic toy that I had when I was a kid. It's even got spider webs on it. Um, this thing is a literal, a literal antique. Um, but it was such a cool toy. Uh, T-Rex, sorry, Mattel Rex, you're gonna take a back backstage for a second while we uh, take a trip down memory lane. This was such a cool figure. Um, you know, as a kid, it was literally the T-Rex from the movie. Um, kind of in hindsight, it, it does not have um, quite the screen accuracy that you'd think, but it was a cool figure. It has very little posability. As you can see, the legs are just part of the body. The arms kind of swivel back and forth, and that's it. That's literally it. It kind of has this faux mouth opening when you squeeze the body. It roars and its mouth opens about a quarter inch. So that counts for something. Then it also has that boom that I was uh, brought the toy on where you um, you hit the, the feet and it makes the stomping noise. So that's pretty fun, right? Um, other than that, that's pretty much all it does besides being just, you know, a classic figure for any kid of a certain age who liked Jurassic Park. And it had this really interesting red coloring, lighter underbelly, right? Um, I, you know, that was kind of like the, the hallmark version of this figure was the Red Rex. That's what it's been known as. Even though the T-Rex in the movie wasn't even red, we called this one the Red Rex, which is what Mattel used as direct inspiration for their version of this toy for the 30th anniversary. And I love the upgrades they did. They obviously took their excellent Mattel Jurassic T Rex design they've had that is very film accurate, but also very toyetic with proportions and sort of playability. And they made an all new figure um, for this uh, 30th anniversary line. And another really important thing they did that's unique to this figure that really calls back to the Kenner version is it has that real feel skin. Obviously that's a hard thing to demonstrate on camera, but this thing's got rubbery skin. See how it's soft and pushes in, um, everything can be moved and molded. Um, the whole thing is, is soft plastic with maybe the exception of the, the mouth and the teeth and the jaws, but this is all plastic. It's all just, or rubber, I guess, rubbery plastic. It's all very soft and bendable. Um, you know, it, it not bendable where if you do it too much, you'll break it, but it's very, it's added such a cool realism to the toy. It made it just something a little bit different than other dinosaur toys. And that's something that Mattel really hasn't embraced in their kind of execution of Jurassic with Mosasaurus. They did it a couple times, um, but I really think they haven't really kind of capitalized on that. And I'm sure there's a cost issue involved, which I won't get into. Um, but for this Rex, they did that. And that's what's so cool. I mean, I'm, I can touch this Rex and everything is, you know, the same kind of squishy soft. It's got, it's got that, um, 
there's like kind of like mechanisms inside that you're squeezing around. The legs themselves are, are the same hard plastic you're used to, as is the head, but it blends in perfectly. I mean, you can barely even see the seam on the camera from where it goes from hard plastic back to rubber. And it, um, you know, you can move it. Oh, wow, you can really move it too. So, wow, yeah, this thing has... I mean, look, look how there's no other Mattel Rex that has that kind of bendability. And the tail also has, um, oh, that's cool. It has like a joint in it too, I think. Yeah, it's kind of got like a, a jointed in, in it so you can sort of pose it. Oh, that's awesome. It's almost got like, I wouldn't call it a wire because there's joints in it, but you can move it all around. So yeah, I mean, this thing is, this thing is a bendy a bendy flexi T-Rex um, with real feel skin. So that's what's so cool about this one. And again, probably one of the main callbacks besides the color of the Kenner Rex. But I think that, you know, this color you can see on camera is much more saturated, a much, um, you know, uh, more vibrant, which I think is cool. They're going for this hyper-realism of the vintage line. They can't exactly remake the same figure. They're doing their own take on it. So why not pump up those colors and make it look even more, you know, you know, bright and energetic. So really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kenner Rex off and let's get back to focusing on um, what's in front of us, this real Phil Rex. But you can see that's where it came from. And it really is just a beautiful kind of contemporary upgrade um, to that excellent figure. So what else does, um, you know, this uh, this real feel electronic Rex do besides <laughs> bend in all different directions, right? Um, as far as articulation goes, looks like we're going to have these legs that um, move um, back and forth independently a major upgrade from that Kenner one where the legs didn't move at all so you can do um, you know running poses all that stuff um, worth noting the toe claws are painted which we loved we love to see it um, the arms also have some interesting articulation besides just going back and forth like even most Mattel Rexes have pretty basic arm articulation it also has the rotating out which a lot of the Rexes don't have that so lets you do a little bit more there. Um, these are hard plastic, by the way. So you can see that joint on both sides um, letting you do, um, and they're really easy to move to. Not too easy, but easy enough that you don't feel like you're gonna break something. Um, same with the legs. Um, they're a little bit more stiff, but hopefully that lets this thing have a nice, you know, held pose without being too um, rigid. I didn't, I mean, their tail isn't technically articulated in a pla hard plasticky way, but it does have this joint inside that's going to let you kind of move it around and give it some resistance. So um, I don't know how, how of like extreme of an angle it'll hold as a pose, but um, I love how soft it is though. It's so soft. It's a little joint in there. I can't wait. If you're out there and you're like, I'm going to get this figure, I can't wait for you to like feel it in your hands. It's something I cannot convey in this review, how like fun it is to kind of feel how soft and squishy it is. It's just so cool, especially being a fan of that older vintage figure. They just totally nailed that. Looks like we have the scan tag here, right here. It's a funny little door uh, on the, the leg here that pops open. And you can, I guess for all you at home who want to try to scan that, go ahead. I don't really scan the figures when I'm thinking of it. Maybe someday I'll go back and do this, but that just pops back in, pops back out. Um, pretty low tech. Um, kind of a weird place for it. You'd think it would be up here, but I think there's some uh, electronics up there that probably um, activate, which we'll get to here in a second. <coughs> <coughs> Um, so yeah, speaking of those electronics, let's go ahead. I think it's a button right here that we press. So a lot of classic, you know, Jurassic T-Rex noises we got here. Quite a few different ones too. Um, before we keep going, let's let's t talk about the mouth articulation so we can get that roaring action reflected in the face. Um, we do have um, the normal bottom jaw articulation that we see on a lot of the Mattel Jurassic Rexes. We also have the top jaw that articulates independently, which I love when they do that because it can let you do some kind of different roars, um, like a you know a, an upward roar or even like. A small roar where the the bottom the upper jaw is just barely open, which I love having just that limited expression and even a basic toy like this, having that kind of um, miniature control of the features is really cool. So that's really fun, um, and let it'll let us get back to testing out these roars. 
Love it. That's an interesting roar that I don't even think I'm familiar with. So yeah, lots of different roars. Nice um, close up here of Rexy's mouth too. We can see she has those sculpted plastic teeth instead of painted teeth, which I praise Mattel for starting for starting to do that versus painting teeth. They're um, actually molded plastic, so you can be as hard of them hard on them as you want, and they'll never show you know like paint scratching off. Then we've got the sculpted tongue the same way. Then I love these little um, skin flaps they did that fold in together. I think that's really really clever. And then within those skin flaps, you can see down into Rexy's throat where, you know, this figure will actually gulp down toys. Not unlike the Super Colossals that you can see on the top shelf here, but on a much smaller scale, um, when you're, when you're um, swallowing a figure, you're gonna be able to pull it out from the belly here, which has um, a slit open, and then you're literally just pulling pulling your, uh, your guy out. So, um, I don't think I want to put anyone fully down inside on camera just in case I can't quite get them out. But you can see here that it, it opens up um, pretty wide so you can get probably littler dinosaurs out. And you can probably pull a guy out of there too. Um, I mean, if I had a smaller dinosaur, I would try it. But we do have Grant. I guess we can try to do it with Grant and that'll allow us to do a little comparison, right? With, um, you know, a human-sized uh character so you can see how red rexy here is stacking up so it's pretty perfect um you know it, this rex is definitely the right size um for human figures it's not like some of their smaller rexes they do it's definitely like the feature rex size so you can see here that um you know he comes up to you know just above rexy's knee here and uh as far as the size to the head goes rexy looks nice and big speaking of size to the head let's go see if grant will actually fit inside um we're literally just gonna feed him in here and down the hatch he goes yep he goes all the way down into the belly into the belly of the beast there we see Grant inside. Can we get him out on camera without mangling this poor Hammond collection figure? I don't know, I should have picked one that wasn't so uh, articulated, that'd be easier to get out. You know, those Hammond collection figures have lots of articulation, but I actually do think I can get a hold of his hat. There he is, boop, pops right out actually. That was actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So um, that was actually really simple to grab him out. And this belly is super soft too, so it it's nice and, um, you know, sculptable i guess i don't know if that's the right word um it's it's malleable right um i love the speaker the speaker even reminds me of the uh the kenner rex a little bit um <clears throat> the same location and everything so kind of a nice callback there kenner rex did not have the ability to swallow a figure though which is a new feature um you know for this rex which um i, I definitely appreciate so um real i mean so cool that it has that that added ability to uh to swallow figures too, right? Um, let's do some other comparisons. I, I know I talked a little bit about the size of this Rex and I wanted to get back to that. And I know even before I filmed this review, there was a couple requests out there of how this thing's um, stacked up against other sizes. One of them was how it's stacked up to Super Colossal. I don't have room or uh, or really the, the the want to take those off the top shelf of, uh, of my collection, but I'll show you what it looks like next to the latest Rexes. Latest feature Rex here from Dominion. It is literally, I mean, the Dominion's uh, Rex head is just oversized in general, but as far as the body goes, it's like, you know, it's the same length almost exactly. So um, from tail to tip of nose, almost the same length. Definitely the same height um, Rex. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily move this box as we start to get a bunch of T-Rexes on here. So again, Dominion Rex has a comically oversized head, but um, they are the same size figure, more or less. Bringing us to Hammond Collection Rex. Uh, a lot of people out there love this Rex. Um, I'm probably more of a fan of something more toyetic, like Red Rex here, um, but they are definitely the same size. Uh, the Hammond Collection Rex being a little bit more accurate it does have a much longer tail, but everything else is the same proportion there. From the tip till the base of the tail are essentially the same. It's just the Hammond Collection tail kind of goes on um, maybe another three or four inches. Um, just kind of have more accurate proportions, but 
uh, you know, more or less the same height depending on how you uh, pose the knees of the Hammond Collection Rex. So Hammond Collection Rex and Red Rex, again, pretty similar in size. We also have that smaller format Rex that Mattel likes to do. Uh, Epic Chompin' Rex, been around since they got the line. This size of Rex, a little bit smaller. No electronic features. This is the Epic Damage version that has that... Um, that damage that you know rotates in there um so this that's what this version is um it's a little bit smaller as it should be um compared to the electronic real feel rex you can see here how much taller the red rex is how much longer it is so um i mean this is a cheaper rex too so i mean no big surprises there um and then you know just for comparison's sake we'll do the kenner rex too and uh you know the Kenner Rex is a was an awesome toy, and it's it's still pretty sweet in size. It's it's much bigger um, than the Red Rex in terms of height, in terms of length. If you don't count that that infamous bent tail, they're actually the same length uh, almost exactly. But if you take this tail and bend it out where it should be, um, you know it's more like the Hammond Collection length um maybe four or five inches longer so um definitely a bigger t-rex toy overall um for what it's based off of that red rex let's go ahead and get them all on here just because we have them all off the collection shelf might as well get our our uh our shot for the the effort that takes to grab these things off of the shelf right um so here's just a very uh small smattering of Mattel T-Rexes. We know they make a lot of, and Kenner Rexes, right? We know they make a lot of, uh, of Red Rexes, or a lot of um, T-Rexes with Mattel. So we got the Kenner and the Mattel Rexes all here, all represented um, with uh, the new one in the middle. So this is just uh, a lineup showing you, you know, how Red Rex, um, the new Red Rex, the new classic, 93 classic, Real Phil Rex stacks up. So pretty much in the middle of um, a lot of the other Mattel Rexes. So, oh man, such a cool figure. We'll go ahead and take everyone off so she can have the spotlight again um, as we close out this review um, and take one last look at this amazing release from Mattel. Again, as part of their 93 Classic line for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. This is the perfect homage to the Kenner line that started it all. I mean, arguably, that's what launched Jurassic into like the cultural stratosphere. The movie of course did and the merchandise of course did, but those toys certainly resonated with so many people and even today, 30 years later, Mattel still just capitalizing on that success in the best way possible with, you know, great throwbacks like this electronic real field Transformers Rex and they totally nailed this. It's the complete package. It um, honors that original Kenner figure in all the right ways um, with the real feel and the coloration and the features like the roar. I mean, it's so cool. It's great. I mean, they just totally nailed it. And then they also did some improvements with the swallowing feature. That's something new. Um, you know, they've done it with their Super Colossal. Kenner's done it with other figures, but adding it here was a definitely a stroke of genius. And then we also just have that saturated color those more realistic proportions, that excellent sculpt detail um, that wasn't even present on the original figure. So they just totally, totally killed this release. And I'm so excited that I have it in my hands. And I'm so excited for everyone who's got this one pre-ordered or is going to be hunting it in their area to find it too, because it is just an amazing toy. So I'm just so, so, so happy that it's on the way for everyone else because it is such a cool figure. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you enjoyed looking at this toy as much as I have enjoyed showing it to you. It is so awesome. And if you like this kind of content, I would definitely ask you to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more of it um, to watch and I have a lot more of it on the way, especially this year for Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. So I think that's all I got. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.